It is hard to ignore some of the troubling reports seen daily that span all along the West Coast. How a place with 58,000 homeless people can continue to function. The investigation revealing trash littered across every block says the Golden State has the worst quality of life in the nation. Cast out the devils, he heals the sick, and he raises the dead. The greatest opportunities in human history are here upon us. That's the good news we've got tonight. Psalm 89. O Yahweh, God of hosts, who is mighty as you are, O Yahweh, with your faithfulness all around you. Conference is about activating your faith, divine reversal, and a divine reversal and a blessing. Hey everybody, it's Mike from Here the Watch. We're coming out here from Branson, Missouri at the Skywatch Defender Conference. It's been going on since 8 a.m. this morning. I am the MC, believe it or not. I mean, I get they, they called everybody else. Everybody else was busy, so they called me. Uh, but we're having a great time here. A lot of interesting stuff happening. Sharon Gilbert is up right now. Uh, Donna Howell, Allie Anderson spoke earlier today. Uh, just been amazing. Derek Gilbert kicked it off this morning. You can still avail yourself of this conference. Go to DefenderConference.com. Sign up for the uh, on-demand package that they have. And if you do, email me, Mike Kerr 777 at gmail.com. I will send you two links so you can access, free of charge, two of our conferences that we've done at Here the Watchman. You can have Dallas from last year. And you can have Long Island from two years ago. You'll see. Just email me, free of charge. Enjoy. Listen, today on the show, I corralled someone that I met here. I've met him before, but I, I pulled him off of his table. He had a line of people waiting, and I said, nope, you got to come with me because we're going to do a show. It is none other than Mr. Randy Conway. Randy, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. My now, pleasure, brother. Now, Randy has written a series of books. And today we're going to talk about this book right here, Meet Me at the Cross. Okay, And this stuff, I'm telling you folks, this stuff is amazing. His work is amazing. It's an easy read. You can sit down and read this in no time at all. And I'm telling you, the information in here, Jesus loves me. Uh, I've never met with the president. Uh, finish well. Amazing chapters. Just great stuff. Randy, what led you to to actually get into this? Because this stuff kept coming into my head and you have to do something with it because my head was filling up with it. So I began making notes and writing them down. Pretty soon they became books. This book that you just uh, presented to the audience uh, is number two in a series of three. The third one won't come out till later this year. But uh, Meet Me at the Cross, I had done two books, Mike, that really dealt with the end times, with the apocalyptic, the prophetic, and and my wife calls them articles that happen to rhyme, <laughs> or documentaries that happen to rhyme. Nice. Uh, and I just I just had a feeling in my spirit, you know, that was important work, but now we need to to meet people where they are, and we need to instruct them on how to come through this thing we're living in. We're all trying to survive the fall, uh, and we've been falling since Adam, and we're all trying to survive the fall, and some won't, but those of us who know Jesus Christ will, and that's why this Meet Me at the Cross, it's just a tool, it's a roadmap for, for getting through the difficulties of life. The first one in the Meet Me at the Cross series deals with all those struggles of life prior to meeting Jesus. But you know, after we meet Jesus, we still have the same struggles. It's just we have somebody to go through them with us. And that's what this book is, is about, is how we can deal with those struggles with the help of a Savior. And uh, the third book in that series is going to be called Nations at a Crossroads. It's all the Meet Me at the Cross series. And one thing about the poetry, it's really different, like you said. Uh, it's not a research book, although it covers the same topics that most of the researchers here at the conference are are speaking about it and their you know great volumes of work but with the uh, with the poetry you can start reading a single poem 
and put the book down and two weeks later you can pick it up and you can read a second poem. You haven't lost your place because each one carries its own story. Each one is its own uh, little tiny miniature documentary, as my wife calls them, that happens to rhyme. So uh, it's something different, but the message is still the same. We're covering the same type of information. Uh, this particular book that, that you chose to uh, share with the audience today actually has what I call story poems. And this is the only book I've done out of, out of the four that I have published that has story poems. And it takes uh, some of the characters that we're familiar with from the Bible mm -hmm. and creates a, an imaginary story about their life and, and how they were affected by the cross. Wow. And, and that's the only one of, of them that, that does that. And that's kind, that was kind of fun. That was interesting. Well, I mean, you've attracted some, some big names. I mean, Joe Horn uh, wrote the uh, foreword to this book. And I know Steve Quayle is a fan of yours. You know, I didn't really attract anybody. I, I am very flattered by that term. But God led all those Amen. things. He, he just orchestrated so many things in our life that, that brought us together. Even the, the fact that I met Steve Quayle took extreme orchestration and the placement of people and events throughout a day that we even got together. So, yeah, well, it's, it's wonderful. Listen, I understand that because Steve Quill baptized me, and, and the way really? that all that happened is crazy. I ended up at a conference I didn't want to go to because I was going to go fishing, and my <laughs> wife went to the conference, and, and I was sitting there, and this guy comes in, and he was struggling to get out of these boxes, and I asked him, hey, do you need some help? He said, I'd love some. And I set all the books up, and he said, I'll be back in like 10 minutes. And he left, and he was gone for like two hours. And all these people <laughs> were coming up, and they were asking me about these books. And I'm like, um, well, oh, that one looks nice, you know. I mean, and, uh, and they're buying all these books and all this stuff. And my wife comes over, Jeannie comes over after with her. She goes, do you have any idea whose table you're sitting at? And I don't know, some guy that he took off. I mean, his name is Steve Quayle. I see the books here. She goes, yeah, it's Steve Quayle. I said, and who is Steve Quayle? You know, that's where I was at that point. But I never went fishing. I spent the whole weekend there, and then Steve and Pastor Lang were baptized, and I'm sure they regret wow. that now. But, I, you know, <laughs> but, uh, oh you know it was an amazing journey. And, and that is, seems to be the way this all happens. So tell me, how did this begin for you? How did you all of a sudden start doing this? It, it's, it was a journey. Uh, I had... Uh, I've written them for, for several years, but just one here and there, you know, well, well, that's kind of, you know, and you jot it down, you get this thought in your head, jot, and I started collecting them and collecting them, and it's been several years. I, I'd actually started with a, a little program at church. Uh, I think it was an Easter program at church, and we needed some material for that, so I wrote a couple of poems, and it, that's where it actually started, and then I just kept writing, and then when... Um, Steve Quayle published one of them on his website, and I was just so amazed, and, and, and then I started getting a flood of them. Mm -hmm. So most of the works that you see in the books, although some of them are, are works that I had written, you know, as I just told you, over time, the greatest portion of them have all come in recent years, just, and, and I'll, um, I'll hear a speaker like at one of these conferences, and I'm just so filled with what they say and so inspired and the, and the Holy Spirit just moved me and I want to comment on it. So I comment on it and it happens to rhyme and I have a commentary or an article about whether it be aliens or Nephilim or the writers of the apocalypse or what, and that's kind of where it comes from. God wow. just puts it into me and sometimes he gets me up in the night and those times when I'm awakened deep in the night and I just, I like, I have to go write this down. Those have been some of obviously my best work because God has gotten me up and said, here's a word. Wow. Now, Randy, listen, uh, you, you know, we just started this conference. I mean, for some of us, it started at like 5 a.m. this morning, <laughs> right, folks? And I'll be here till 10 o'clock tonight. So if I start looking a little peaked here in a while, you know why. Uh, but uh, what do you think so far? Oh, this is a wonderful conference. The, the spirit of the people, um, as they, as they, because we don't have a lot of room necessarily out here in the hallway from, and people are kind to each other and we're getting, passing by each other and, and just the spirit. 
is wonderful and people are anxious to hear what the speakers have to say and you can't get a better lineup of speakers. I mean, you know, Skywatch TV, Defender Publishing, they, they put uh, the creme de la creme on the stage. Uh, and, and yesterday, you know, it was amazing when, when they were setting up and, and uh, Defender Publishing was here putting all their books up. I, I'm not kidding you folks. It smelled like a Borders bookstore, you know. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Right now, someone just walked in the room that I just want to have them say hi to you. It's Mr. Tom Horn. Tom, say hello to everyone. Hey. Hello. There he is. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. The yes. legend, yeah. Yes. So we're, we're, we're really having a great time here, folks. And you can still, again, be a part of this. Please, please go to defenderconference.com all you have to do is click sign up for the on demand you get it for 90 days and again we at here the watchman will send you two of our past conferences absolutely free of charge just email mike kerr 777 at gmail.com or go to here the watchman n.com click the contact button and let me know that way Again, Randy, thank you for joining us today. Oh, thanks for the invitation, Mike. I appreciate it, and I'm, I'm just blessed to be here, and I will be more blessed when I leave here awesome. than when I got here. Awesome. Well, listen, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this edition of the Watchman's Report, and remember, as we always say, there's absolutely nothing that you can't do with Jesus in your heart, except nothing at all. Get out there, get busy, activate your faith, make a difference in the world. We'll see you next time. God bless. Amen.